Om Shanti. Welcome to 31st of Mass Golden Blessing. Supreme Father wants us to have all the attainments. That means attainments are the powers which the soul has. And these are spiritual attainments. To attain these spiritual attainments, there are certain conditions which we are going to explore in this beautiful blessing. Father says, may you receive all attainments through the power of elevated thoughts and become an embodiment of success. You must almighty authority children have so much power in your thoughts that you can do whatever you want at any time and can inspire others too. You can have other souls also to work towards your cause because your thoughts are always pure and elevated and benevolent. You cannot think evil, ill or look down upon or have any kind of disdain towards anybody. Those are not benevolent thoughts. So thoughts are always pure, elevated and benevolent. Thoughts that are elevated and benevolent definitely become practical. And the opposite is also true. Thoughts that are not elevated, not benevolent, they don't come into practicality. There's always some kind of tussle. There's always some kind of problem. There's always somebody who's putting his foot in between the door. So your mind is always concentrated. That is, it is stable in one stage, provided it has got elevated thoughts, benevolent thoughts, and also pure thoughts. Your mind is always concentrated. That is, it is stable in one stage. It does not wander. Now try about, think about some having ill thoughts about somebody, evil thoughts about somebody. You will not be able to control your thoughts. Your thoughts will be going in all the different directions. Try it out. It's a simple one minute meditation, which you can try it out. Create pure thoughts, elevated thoughts and benevolent thoughts. And at the same time, after a few minutes, start creating the opposite thoughts, negative ones and see whether your mind is wandering or not, in which case it is wandering more. You're able to stabilize your mind where you want, when you want, but it is not something which you just think, you have to feel it too. If you are thinking benevolent thoughts, but you're not feeling it, there's no use. It has to come from your heart, not your physical heart, but your intellect. So by doing this, you automatically become an embodiment of success. And that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. You're most welcome to learn details. Om Shanti.